Barricade completely skips the events of Revenge of the Fallen. While he could have been pulling some strings behind the scenes, I could picture him deciding to lay low after the devastating loss in the first movie. We don't see him again until the Decepticons take over Chicago in Dark of the Moon. At this point, the Decepticons seem to have everything easily wrapped up. No Autobots, the city was theirs, and there's Survivor Barricade ordering around some nameless cons, which does show us that he still does have a pretty high rank in the Decepticon army. Unfortunately for him, he gets taken down in a surprise attack, sniped in the eyes, luckily he does have four eyes though, so he wasn't completely blinded, and his legs were blown off. That's the last we see of Barricade in Dark of the Moon, but as seen in The Last Night, he was alive, meaning that he was somehow able to scamper off and get out of harm's way before the Nest Soldiers and Epps' team could kill him. 